It's very interesting, as I came here, I walked down 4th Street, and when I came to NYU, I took the independent subway from Harlem down to 4th Street and walked across 4th Street because I had heard that NYU was a place where it was a great opportunity for minorities, one of the first places to have African-American professors. And in my instance, I was in the field of health and physical education, and it was one of the premier, if not the premier institution for educating people in those fields. Uh, the legendary Dr. J.B. Nash, Dr. Leonard Lawson were national icons in the field, so that uh, I had every confidence that I was going to be successful. The question is where I was going to be successful. And one of the reasons why I was pleased to be at New York University is that it was a place of opportunity. No, I didn't experience racism. As a matter of fact, I was uh, the antidote to racism. Uh, I believe that excellence overcomes uh, discrimination. I believe that excellence gives you the opportunity to make a change. And I became a leader in the faculty. I became a member of the faculty council. So I was seen as a professor who was a leader, not as a black professor. Uh, and that was part of the culture of New York University. The strength of NYU has been its diversity. Its diversity of ideas, its diversity of opinions, diversity of faculty, its diversity of students. NYU was a people's university. Many of these people were the first in their families to go to college and to move up. That, that was exciting. Then NYU responded to the time, and that's the mark of a great institution. How do you respond to the challenges that you have? How do you respond to those times? And my feeling is that NYU does that. And they are continuing to grow and continue to meet challenges.